He's still going? Oh, Jesus! You gotta be shitting me. Whoa! This guy's dead! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next chapter of Wilson's Heart. We start exactly where we left off about to read a werewolf comic, which is quite appropriate because I have a feeling that this episode is going to be all about werewolves. Potentially. Maybe. Could be wrong. But we did just see a guy who claimed he was a werewolf, who we all know probably is a werewolf, just leave, so... Just saying. Oh, and as always, you, you can use the timestamps below to skip through this if it's not really your thing. The Unlikely Werewolf. The tale of Kurt Mosby, or Mosby. We'll go with Mosby. No, Mosby. Mosby. It's the old scone scone argument. Kurt Mosby grew up in a rural community outside of Birmingham, Alabama. He lived with his mother, father, grandmother, and two younger sisters. One Saturday night, Kurt was out with his buddies, Billy and Stan. These were friends of which his parents didn't approve, but at 15, what kid listens when his parents warn that they're running with the wrong crowd? Everyone runs with the wrong crowd. They have to a circus? Or yes. That weekend, the circus was in town and the boys decided to sneak in. Scrambling under the canvas got them front row seats under the big top. Soon bored by dancing elephants and clown shenanigans, the boys headed for the sideshow. They were like, hee hee, I can't wait to check out the sideshow. Oh yeah, let's go. The light of the full moon made it simple to sneak through the cluster of tents and spy the freaks for free. The boys snuck into one tent to find it occupied by the seal boy. They found the six-year-old child sleeping on a mound of straw in the center of the tent. The seal boy's hands were attached at his shoulders, and deformed flat feet jutted from stumps where his legs should have been. Billy and Stan found a creative way to wake up the boy. They each produced a strand of firecrackers and set them off around the deformed child. Kurt wasn't proud of it, but he couldn't help but laugh as the little kid flopped around, terrified. That is no way to treat... Dolphin boy. Seal boy. I'm listening. Sounds of alarm sent the boys running out of the tent. Stan and Billy escaped the carny folks grasping hands, but, but Kurt wasn't so lucky. He was terrified as two large men grabbed him and held him down. A creepy old woman shuffled over to him. She muttered a few words in an indecipherable language and touched his face. Kurt broke free and escaped into the darkness. That is never good when an old lady does that. Especially not with this happens. Kurt reached his friends in the middle of a cornfield. It was brightly lit by the full moon. Before he could tell them what happened, Kurt's body jolted with pain and he felt his bones breaking, skin stretching, and what felt like a million needles erupting from every inch of his body. He reached out for help, but his friends ran away. Kurt completed his transformation into a werewolf. He didn't remember much of what happened next. Screams, snarls, ripping, tearing, blood. He woke the next day amid the body parts of his former friends. Oh damn. Also, I completely forgot it was about werewolves up until this point, but that's fine. This guy's face says it all. Kurt staggered back to the sideshow to find out what had been done to him. No resistance met him, and he was led to the old woman's trailer. His heart sank when he found her cradling the charred remains of the seal boy. The firecrackers had started a fire and burned him alive. That's awful. Kurt learned that the woman was Amelia. The matriarch of the gypsies who ran the circus sideshow. She told Kurt that his friends got what they deserved for the life of her son. But for Kurt's participation, another form of punishment was deserved. Kurt was now a werewolf, and would live with his curse for the next ten years. If he was willing to stay with the circus for that long, she would release him from the curse, of course. He was free to go home right then. But if he valued the lives of his family and didn't want them to be torn apart by his own claws, then his best bet was to stay. For nine long years, Kurt lived with the gypsies and the circus. He hammered tent poles, picked up litter, and shoveled elephant dung. However, once a month he was the star of the sideshow. Before the full moon rose, Kurt was locked in an iron cage. An overhead tent flap was opened, and the light of the full moon would trigger his transformation in front of an amazed audience. Nine years and eleven months later, Kurt found himself in that very cage on the night of a full moon. He had been the star once more, but just as the show was over, it didn't mean his transformation was complete. Kurt's snarling form was secured inside his cage long after the last rube had shuffled back to town. When Kurt finally changed back, he found the tent burning around him. He plucked the keys from a nearby corpse, opened his cage, and staggered outside. The circus was in ruins. It looked as if it had been trampled by stampeding elephants. The problem with that theory was that the elephants had all been slaughtered as well. Yep, that's a problem. 
Kurt made his way to the gypsy camp. Only Amelia still clung to life. Seeing that she was not long for this earth, Kurt begged her to release him from the curse. Alas, she was too weak to do so. Instead, she mentioned a stranger, a man with many questions. Questions about gypsy curses and the like. Amelia believed that this man might have the power to lift the curse. She muttered a small spell to bind Kurt to the man. Kurt would be drawn to him and a possible cure, but she warned Kurt that the knowledge this man possessed was very dangerous. Kurt asked if the man was responsible for the massacre around them. Amelia died before she could reply. Kurt hitchhiked up North Hill. He was drawn to St. John of the Cross. His inquiries about the mysterious man, of, only, of which he knew no name, landed him in the psychiatric ward. Only the transformation of the hospital allowed him to escape. He quickly traded his hospital pajamas for the clothes of a dead man he found in a corridor. Oh my god, it's an origin story! I was lit- like, at the end of this comic, I was about to have a discussion about whether or not these comics actually have any relevance to the story. And here's potentially the proof of that. I guess the trouble is, like, the, the question remains, is the guy that we met lying? And he just read it in that comic, and he's telling the same story? Or is there something slightly more to this? Here's a heart. Wah! Good stuff. You never know when we might need a padlock, especially to lock up some nasty werewolves. Oh, we don't need it. Cool. There's loads to explore in this one today. Let's go down this corridor. This was the one that was opened without us using heart powers, so... Who the hell paints a doorknob? Well, as we know, pictures, uh, they could be reality, for all we know, especially given the creepy teddy bear that we had before. Ah! Oh, who are they? Termites? Bedbugs? We'll go, we'll go with termites, Dr. Chen. Maybe I could use this door handle then. Oh, so I guess it was like a premonition. Little spiders, like a curse. Not good. Not good at all. Well, I guess our only option is down the corridor. Jars and the like. Good stuff. Let's see if these ones try to eat us. Oh no, this one looks locked. Okay. Don't need to tell me twice. Weird symbol on this door. Starting to feel a bit like little nightmares with all the jars and the big ominous doors. This one's also locked. Double check these doors, because I am a bit of a moron, but there's a lock there, so I'm quite happy. The chains still stayed by? It's very odd. This was the room we started in, and we got our abilities, our powers, but I don't think that there's anything here that we'd necessarily need to go back for. So we'll carry on down the corridor. It's got to be something with the picture. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> Maybe I'll take it with me? Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah. This obviously makes sense. Are you kidding me? No way. Did I just drop it? That was a mistake. You're telling me that this portrait has weird supernatural powers that it can actually become a door handle? I'm starting to really question the times we live in currently. Can I give it a shake? Maybe I can break it? Oh! Okay, if you let go with one hand, it lets go with both hands. And in fact, that door thing like wiggled a little bit. Maybe I'll give it a little shake. Shake it! Shake it! Oh, it moved! It moved! Keep shaking! Yeah, it's stuck on the web. We can pour it down there. Yes! That's not something you see every day. No. No, no it's not. Or every life, for that matter. Once again, the hospital never ceases to amaze me of its contents. Piece of metal on this one. Like, we either need to hang a picture up, or there's potentially some more contents there. Because going back to the, com uh, the, the comics, there were some other things, oh, like the, the vampire story that we came across. Some of them were a bit oh, no. weird. Lucy. Girl trapped in devastating fire. Ah, oh, so Lucy's the little girl. 
So perhaps Lucy is already dead, and she's a ghost? Hang on, kid. I'll, I'll figure this out. Uh-huh. Do you think that Wilson thinks that she's now in a fire? That makes no sense. I think that Lucy must be a ghost, and she has the power of possession, which is why she maybe possessed the teddy bear. That kind of makes sense. This is creepy. This kind of looks like that nurse that we saw in the last episode as well. Nothing to do. That doesn't necessarily mean it's useless. Especially not in this game. Let's take a wider view. Why would we take a wider view? That's a question. Some strange artifacts as well. Like, what is this? Is this Doctor Harcourt's doing again? Crazy man. Ah, maybe we can put the newspaper extract here now. Yeah, that makes sense. Has to be a way to get her out of there. What is wrong with you, Wilson? This was in the past, surely. Okay, so now that we've done that, we'll take a step back. Yeah, okay. Ah! Heart power. Anything metallic that we can pull? Ah! What? What? Okay. So perhaps there's something we have to pull up. Oh my god. We can we can change the mode of it as well. So it's not necessarily the most obvious choice in the world. None of them seem to be glowing in the way that this one's glowing. So I think this one's the one that we need to use. So clearly, if this shoots over there and takes out the light, we either need to remove that painting. Yeah, we we got to set this up a little bit different. Yeah, here we go. Let's just take this one off. Wonder if I can do something with these paintings. Just like leave them, I guess. Doesn't spawn back. Good. Now we can shoot a bullet at something mysteriously over there. Nothing. Nothing else that we could alterate, move, change. Ah, here we go. A ducky! Yeah, let's take this one with us. We'll shoot up the duck. Pour water everywhere, maybe. I have no idea what I'm doing. We'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. It did leak. Oh, and it watered the plant. Oh, so it's maybe putting out the fire that Lucy's part of. Ah, uh, kind of makes sense now. That's like the dodgiest and stupidest puzzle I've ever come across in my life, but it'll do. It just makes no sense. Can I take a step over there, or do I have to step back and then back again? Oh, maybe the water will just kind of pour through. Now. That makes sense. Here we go. Pop that. Pour the water. Hmm. It only goes parallel. Ah, but the woman's umbrella now, she can open it because she'll get wet and then it will pour over to the other side. This is the best puzzle I've ever come across in a video game. That's so genius. Oh, we've made our own one of those little machines, you know, where like the ball rolls and it like hits a, a bunch of dominoes and then they go and then like a pulley comes up and woo, someone's made a cup of tea. No! I can't remember what they're called. Ha. Okay, open your umbrella, easy peasy, jumps off, put out the fire, bish bash bosh, we've saved you. worked yes but why <laughs> but why Wilson <laughs> okay Wilson's content now you know I said in the last episode that I, I thought that I was in control of this game but realistically like Wilson's the one who knows where it's at we're just kind of following along blindly with the story okay back at the werewolf chamber over there or we could head down the corridor but it doesn't look like we actually can so I guess I'll take a look over here what in the hell? Oh. Now Lucy's come. Thank you. So her surviving the fire meant that she was now in this painting? That makes no sense. 
probably means we're going to have to get the rest of the crew over here as well. I'm starting to think that they're kind of made up. Those people weren't exactly real. It's all just a figment of your imagination, Wilson. Things you've read in comics. Things you dreamt about. Wow. This is cool. A lot of paintings. A lot of paintings. Ah, oh, and some music. I like it. Ooh, it's the weird darkness creatures. Probably more of Harcourt's work. That looks way too real to be a painting. Way too real. This is so creepy. Oh my god. Oh. I wonder if the, the power's connected between them, or if it's this light that's causing those to go up. And up top? This could be some form of holy sister. Oh, so this hoists the pictures up. And we've got a galactic something over there. Wooden planks as well? This is so weird. What on earth are we dealing with? Monster Bella. Bella was the, uh, the Doctor, I think. But the monster's what I think that the Doctor is in the first place. God, what's worse, Bella, that you're trapped in this thing or how shitty of a drawing it is? <laughs> it's great, look at him! <laughs> Bela, yes, yeah, not Bella, that makes sense. I mean, the other drawings are pretty great as well. Oh, we got the darkness people over there. It's the teddy bear, not Mickey Mouse, with a slightly phallic face. It's... It's it's the bear. Someone is an angel. Yeah. Oh, and that's the giant dude that walked in killing all the nurses. That makes sense. Ooh. What have you got for me today? Ah, not this mode. Oh, can we turn back? I'm trying my best. Whatever this mode is, I can't remember. I can't remember what this ability is. Maybe we control it? Is this the telekinesis mode? Oh! Okay. Sure. We're playing a brick breaker now. The treasure hunter. Wow. Why do we need that? Game, I'm so confused! Ah, wrong painting. <laughs> oh no! What do we do? Okay, so we need to find something that he can use to get the demons. That makes sense. Ah, okay, oh. we can pull off some of these materials maybe. Figure out something here. This all makes sense. Let's get the screws out of there. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we'll do that. That's probably an easier way to like let them go. Oh, okay. Just let go. Makes sense. Get them. Get them. Oh, a giant death robot. That makes sense. He could use that. That's one way to kill a vampire. Let's go reveal the rest of the pictures. You know, like. Yes, the giant death robot could be used in favor of Bela. But realistically, is it going to just spawn in there and shoot his eyeballs up? You know, we've got to consider all of our options here. We've only got two more lives. This is important. Mental Miners from Galaxy 5. Aliens. Okay. Aliens versus Vampire. Interesting concept. Ah, and we can turn the light on on this one. Plug socket. Wonder why that's helpful. Compare on the rest of these lights as well. Tales of the Profound. Demons. I mean, all of these are so cool. I want to see what every single one of these does. Oh, we get nice and close for this one now. Do we poke the plug socket? Oh, we do. What? No way does that control that! Come on, game! 
I feel like we must have taken something at some point. This is trippy. We could send him to Mars. Mm, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. What else have we got here? This one looks like we can approach it from afar now. Okay, that's the opposite one. Uh, and we can't approach the darkness. So we have, in total, four pictures with four potential outcomes. Oh, hold that thought. Five pictures. Oh yeah, I was about to say, like, think of the weaknesses of a vampire. What do we need? We need garlic or we need sunlight? Sunlight. I like it. Oh, but I want to know what the others do. Is there a way we can save this game? Can we save it? I don't think we can save it. Oh, I'm sure it'll just reload us back. Like, that can't be too much of a problem. Yeah, we want to test out what these do. Come on. Let's have a bit of fun with this. Alright, giant death robot. Of course we want one of them. Okay, let's do it a bit sensibly. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no, it's on his side. Yep, that ain't going too good. I guess it's the same situation with the aliens. The aliens just joined the, the vampire side, right? Oh. Oh! Yeah. Oh, we have to get rid of his lives. And we can't screw up on ours. Okay. I expected just one of them to go badly. So two of these kind of would go right. But I'm guessing the imps are going to be a bad thing. I mean, we've got to test it and then we'll do it right. Yeah, here we go. Ah. Alright, it's gonna be a perfect run. So we know that the Statue of Liberty provides us with the sunlight. Take that, vampire! Yeah. So maybe this is Baylor's origin story, you know? Except he actually got bit instead of not getting bit. And then we know that we need the sunlight here. The break in the, in the beautiful sky. Burn the monster. Burn! Cry, you bastard. Exactly, except I put it in a much kinder way, Wilson. And we have our last painting, I guess. We just suck him up a black hole. Oh, there's the actual sun behind it. I should have noticed that. That makes sense. Get him! Put him on the moon. And the sun? Hey, hey, Go to hell, you evil son of a bitch. Exactly. Nice! Yay! Bail is free! Now we're getting somewhere. Again, why? Oh! Yes, he's probably back in the original painting now, along with the rest of them. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. This is just the weirdest game! Bela, appear to us. Oh, looking suave on the side there. What have you got to give us? Don't look like you have a key of any description. Or maybe you do. No. Ah. You're actually Iron Man. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. Looks like, like a submarine window or something. Ah. Ah. Whew. Yeah, deep breath, Wilson. Back we go. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Oh. Uh, not good. Oh, no. Werewolf, vampire. Uh, uh. We need metal. We need metal. Uh, uh, a mace. What the hell? Spirits. Oh, my God. They're like dementors. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, we got the club on them. They're terrifying. Oh. <laughs> Sweep it up. Ah, oh, we broke it. We need another one. Quickly. Oh, the axe. That's a good choice. Alright, Wilson. Oh, you can't two hand it though. That's a shame. Come at me! And else in Scooby Doo 2, it looks exactly like the mask dude from that. <laughs> I know it's not the time, but everyone looks like something! Ugh. 
I love how they react to like a, a, a swipe. They just go down. Headbutt the floor. Right to the right. Hmm. They'll probably come out quicker this time. What have we got over there? Uh, probably need another weapon from over here. Oh. The skimitter, or the, yeah, I think they're called like a smitter. Skimitter? Shemitter? Either way, it will make you dead, so that's what I care about. This is invigorating. Come at me. They're probably gonna come a little bit faster this time, which is fine. I can cope with that. The real question is, why is the picture full of evil spirits? Is that the mm. best you've got? Damn, Wilson. What's that noise? Okay. Sure. Whatever. Let's just carry on. Let's go back to that other door. Maybe the, uh, the cylinder will unlock the way. Kinda looks like it would. Oh, maybe we can use it at least to see through. Can we grab something from the inside? Oh. oh, a giant key! Of course! That actually turns out to be tiny. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Except Wilson in messed up land. Wilson in Waffle Land. Except there's no waffles. Fortunately. So I'm thinking maybe it was Elsa that summoned the demon ghosts. Although this room probably has Elsa within it, so that theory could probably be tainted slightly. But there are there are paintings, things to explore. Oh yeah, here's Elsa's story. Ah, oh, so Elsa's maybe the one involved with the giant Elsa. mare. Hmm, what do we got here? No! Get away from me, you monster! Then she trips. Stay away from me, you madman! Wilson! W Wilson, save me! Oh, she needs a big, strong Wilson to come and save the day! I had no idea that it was that kind of story. Oh. Okay, we'll pin her up. Hang on, Elsa. I'll get you out of there. Oh, we maybe have, like, a bit of a tail to do here? Uh. Position them correctly? Looks like it. We make, like, a story all the way up until the end point. Uh. I dropped that one. Oh, it's gone over there. Oh, they all do different things. Oh my god, we have to create a whole machine out of this? Okay, so what does this one do? That one swings. Oh, I think I left that out for too long. Okay, so we're going to swing and hit something. That's the only one that moves. So that definitely has to be the first port of call. What happens if we hit some of the people singing around the campfire? Probably makes some sense. Yeah. Figured. This? Oh, we hit the barrels, maybe, and they roll across the back? Yes. Okay. Oh! Goes into there. Coaxes up. Lights the cannon. Cannon fires all the way across. Ooh, ooh. Something like this? We'll probably have to find a couple more images to help us with this, but... Not a bad start. Okay. Not the cannon. All right, let's go see if we can find a couple more pictures then. Huh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, man in one of the baths. Maybe we boil him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with with the fire. I'm so glad those boots have tops. That's just weird though. It looks like someone's stuck there. Frenny lucky, frenny lucky, frenny lucky. I hope that's the scientific term for it. But it's by L. S. Fomla. Yep. Definitely made a mess of that one. Oh god, not another one. What the hell do you do? Good question. What the hell do we do? Is a better question. I guess we just leave? Uh. No. We do not leave. Leaving is a bad idea right now. I'm gonna need your heart to do something here, Wilson, because we can't. Unless he's guarding the way, maybe we go this side. Ah, okay. Spirits on both sides, or maybe it's the same spirit. 
It is the same spirit. So if we were really quick, we could probably make it by the time he gets over there. No. That's strike two. We've only got one left. We'll have to come back. Alcohol. Okay. Oh, turpentine. That's flammable. See if this works. Agreed. And another picture. Oh, but this one's locked behind a key. I guess we'll just toss one of these at him and see if it works. And some turpentine. Yeah. I think you need a little touch of the creep. Ah, oh, of course. Melt the painting. Genius. Oh, come on. Does that actually burn me? I'm Wilson, master of fire! Who doth not burn? The flames go through me. <gasps> maybe I'm a ghost. Or maybe not. Is that, is that an elephant? On the edge of a seesaw? Oh, it's got such a smiley face as well. It's cute. All right, so we should have everything we need apart from this, which we could probably break through rather than like trying to find the key. Mm. Potentially. I mean, we've managed to beat up so many monsters, so why can't we just like... Oh. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> ah! Come here. That took way too long. I was here for at least 20 minutes. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's figure this out. So, the, the heat will probably lift her maybe up off the umbrella or cause her to do something with that. Maybe like bend the heat. So then we use the cannon then because the heat will come up and down and maybe light the fuse on that. That will shoot a bullet which will knock this man off of his thing and probably cause a splash of... Oh, he will probably fall maybe off the screen or something which will then lift the elephant up. Elephant will go up. And then somehow the strong man will come and ding-a-ling. And this looks like it connects to that, so it'll go up and connect and everything's right with the world. Give that a try. Bish bash bosh. Fire goes up, lifts the umbrella. That was not what I was expecting, but it's fine. Yes, lights the fuse, good. Lights the boom. Ding, down he goes. Flying. Bush. Da! And we saved her. Agreed. Look at that. Genius. Other than the like 20 minutes it took me to break a piece of glass, but ignore that. Elsa appears. Oh. Ghosts, ghouls, demons, whatever the fuck, all the shit I didn't believe in until today. You hear that? I believe in you now. Is that what you want? I played all your stupid games. I freed everyone. Now <laughs> get us out of here so I can find my goddamn heart. That helped. Now oh. somewhere. You just had to believe, Wilson. Believe in the Christmas spirit. Or in this case, the, the ghosts. Interesting that we appeared in the image as well. Hmm. We made it to here. More over here, his. More St. John of the Cross. Maybe we are living in a comic Wilson. ourselves. Oof. Elsa. Jesus. You alright? You're a bit low down there. Oh, he's gonna give you a hand up. Get up. How did you get here? Do you remember? I I don't know. I was suddenly enveloped in darkness and then I I just appeared here. I can't explain it. Well the important thing is that you're okay. Oh. we just need to find the others. Yes, of course. Oh, Elsa. I found some more pages from Harcourt's book. Now that I know these guys might have a little crush thing going on, it makes it all the cuter that, that, that they had their little play fight when they did. We're getting closer. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that it? Now we just stare longingly at each other? Literally, okay. Right, let's let's move on. 
Okay, I have no idea where this leads, so watch your, um, I mean, be careful. No need to curb your language, Wilson. My late husband was, well, let's just say I've heard it all before. Fair enough. <laughs> Whatever you say, ma'am. This room is huge. Do we, do we really want to go in here? The hospital laundry. The laundry? It looks empty. It's awful. I think we may actually steer clear of danger for once. I wouldn't oh, get out of there. Yeah, you no, no. You're the danger anyway, probably. So is it just us? Are we just leaving? I presume you want me to teleport somewhere. Oh. Should have known better. How can this be? We need to get out of here. That isn't the way anymore. Agreed. Agreed. Straight to the end. Oh, yep. Yeah. Peek down the ominous corridor. You have connections. Your heart is a literal torch. Ah! It's probably about to be used here, actually. Blam! Oh, that looks like some form of power box. Yeah, this is good. The old pull the giant lever trick. Probably should have thought about what I was doing. Don't let gremlins push you around. Watch out for slips and trips. And a really ominous factory. It's apparently used for laundry. She's back on the floor again? God damn it, we leave you for two seconds. Oh, never mind, it's some clothes. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Gonna go for the punch immediately, just in case. Probably need something to cut it. Don't worry, you sit staring confused around the room. We'll, we'll figure this out. Hey Elsa, I found something. Okay. Ah. I guess we'll just hold it, see what happens. None of them look any different than the others. Wilson, look. That bag there. Yeah, I'll check. Ah. The bleeding one, of course. All right, you do it. It's not gonna go. Good. It's not gonna go well. It's not gonna it's go well. Like <laughs> Dead people. Water or something. Mm. Yeah. Well, it ain't ink. What are you going to do? See if we Unzip can get this it. Open. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Lick it. Sniff it. Ugh. Bodies are starting oh. to pile up in this place. Look, his eyes and mouth. They're sewn the shut. Sewn. What is all that? Some Latin, runic, Germanic idioms. Oh yeah. I recognize some of them. Looks like they didn't just stop at the face. Let's get him onto that table. Um, gr grab his feet. All right. <laughs> You're way too comfortable with this, Elsa. That's all I'm saying. Oops. Go get that leg. And then we take him over. It's good job we don't have to do all the heavy lifting. And gently down. Doesn't seem like you should weigh that much. Wilson, would you mind turning on the light for me? He's like unnecessarily oh, bloated. No. Give me a sec to figure it out. What do you mean? You have a heart that literally does that. Maybe we only fix blinking lights. Damn it. Come on. Okay. Not there. Ah, oh, Gamma Ray Gabe. Interesting. We have something to figure out first. We'll come back. Although we did get a little light source, which is cute. I'm glad that they put these in every now and then. Although it looks like we need to actually turn the power on first. So yeah, we do have something to do before we get there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ah, and another lock bit. Okay. So we have to light something? Looks like there's a, a set of matches in that cupboard back over there. And the bottles again. Maybe we have to assemble something. So many mysteries. Ah, we're picking this lock. Thank you, game. Wiggle, 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 jiggle. Done. Yep, I'll let you put that back for me. Thank you. Flip, flip, and open. Open. What is this? Hmm. 
Nice. Never know when you might need a knife. I'll pick this one as well while we're at it. Wiggle, 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 I mean, coal fires are still kind of a thing now, but I mean, like, as in generation of, of coal fire energy. No! Aha. Another key. Try this again. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to get it through the wall here. It was worth a try, though. It's coming. Ah, the little, the little pass through shaft. Good. And with that, we have access to here. This is such a big brain game, it's insane. Oh god, I need to figure out how to open the door now, are you kidding me? <laughs> open! Oh, push. <laughs> so many intricate things to do and see. Ah! Always like a little radio break. And the story? Welcome to learning to speak Spanish. Learning to speak Spanish. Where is the library? I don't have that sort of short memory span, I'm afraid. Let's go back to this. Sounds good. Shame it doesn't have a larger range. We could put it through like the, the company speakers. Be brilliant. So the only place we haven't explored is back in this control room or wardrobe? Question mark. Ah. Ah, and there's power in here. Why did the privileged get power? Hospital burglaries persist. Escaped bank robber chased into forest. ENIAC Superbrain. Devastating tornadoes ravage Oklahoma and Kansas. Will the fire ever stop? Enemies of humanity flee from justice. Strike talks stagnate. Dominion relations in jeopardy. It's over, declares President. Oh, it's Slick Willie again. Notorious bank robber William Slick Willie Sutton has been pursued into the woods of Hartford. Authorities warn he is dangerous and a talented con man and ties to organized crime. He has been known to use a variety of disguises in his robberies, including postmen, police officers, and maintenance workers. We've read this before, so this... But maybe it starts the same and it's slightly different. Either way, he must have been... Yeah, police are investigating a string of burglaries that have taken place at the St. John of the Cross Hospital over the last few months. In the early hours of Monday morning, hospital staff discovered the latest break-in. It fits the pattern of previous burglaries, with the majority of stolen items, including important medical equipment, as well as prototype therapeutic machines, worth tens of thousands of dollars, and the abrupt end to invaluable research. The thefts raise the possibility that patients may be denied the treatment they need. The authorities are asking for public for the public's help to solve these crimes, despite a few pranksters calling in to report a hulking monster being seen being seen on hospital grounds around the times of the break-ins. Anyone with any real information on the thefts or suspicious activity that may have been observed in the area during this time frame are asked to contact the police immediately. Hmm, the plot thickens. We know that um, the teddy bear referred to either himself or someone as Slick Willy before. Great. We went through all of that to find a light bulb. Oh, damn it. And with the thefts of equipment, maybe Harcourt was planning some big experiment, which makes sense because he was making Wilson's heart in the first place. Hmm. If I screw this in here, am I going to be able to use it for what I want to use it for, which is reading comics? I'm kind of stuck now. Oh god, I've got to really twist this one in. Why is VR so realistic? Thanks. Now. You're welcome. Let's see here. Hmm. 
I guess I'll check him out as well. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's getting hard in here. Oh. Any thoughts? I'm not sure. Something about trapping someone or maybe a transformation. How about Satan? This might get us a step closer to understanding how to escape the hospital. If you say so. Yeah, are you kidding? Still doesn't explain why his eyes and mouth are sewn shut. No, it doesn't. Careful, Elsa. <laughs> I'll be fine, Wilson. I'm a mother. I have to be self-reliant. Hmm. A boy or a girl? A little boy. How old? Just turned five. I hope he's far away from here. Yes, he is. And you, Wilson? Any children? <laughs> Ooh, wouldn't you like to know? I... Ah! Ooh. Look. Don't touch him again. There's something in his mouth. What is it? I'm not sure. Could you find me something to snip these threads? Okay. Here's a pen knife I bought earlier. You cut away the threads. You sure about this? I must know what's in there. You're the expert. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing. Snip, 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 snip. Oh, that's so weird. God damn. This is like more advanced than the blooming surgery game that you can get for VR. Oh no, look at the teeth. The teeth. I can't cut the rest of it though. Oh, there we go. Pop it out and pop it out. Oh, oh, I don't I know, help. Elsa. I don't it's know. It's a piece of paper. Can you pull it out? I can, but... I don't want to! Alright, yeah. alright. Oh, damn it. Oh, are you kidding me? Harcourt left his journal inside someone, obviously. Look, the faces on the page align with those in the book. Ah, that sounds oh. like a new ability for me. She's like, oh my god, I've never seen it happen before. The fifth part of the puzzle. Yeah. Uh, oh. So, the device is helping you somehow. Oh yeah. Besides keeping you alive, of course. Uh, I don't know how really, but it has something to do with those faces drawn in Harcourt's book. How so? They match up with faces on this, my heart. The new alignment of faces gives it powers somehow. Happened a couple of times already. The device. Amazing. Hurts like <laughs> hell every time I use one of these powers. Yeah, Maybe stop fangirling. Use that to help us get out. Wilson, help! God no! I'm no! good! Oh, you left me a convenient instruction manual. Thanks, Elsa. Oh, no. okay, we'll just check it out first. Help! Elsa. Wilson. She's dead. All right, good stuff. And what convenient ability have we unlocked this time? Turn the top of the device to reveal this idol. Hold down the grip and trigger buttons to receive full power. Making contact with another object will full charge. At full charge will result in electrocution. Return the device to your chest. In the comic, the thing that was kidnapping Elsa was defeated using electricity. Oh, shit. Yeah. Big poop. Let's go. And what have we learned? If you find a corpse with his mouth sewn shut, leave it the fuck alone. Agreed. Fish people. Fish people. Fish people. Charge, 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 charge. Big charge. He's actually really slow. We got time. We got time. Is this full charge? I don't know what full charge is. Let's trust it. That was not full charge. I don't know how to charge you. Charge! Oh, come back. Ah! Uh, Two hand it. We're talking Dragon Ball Z style. Oh, I twisted it. I need it. All right, we're gonna get rapid again. I missed. Ah, we throw it in the water. I'm so stupid. We get two of them this one. I get it, I get it. Physics! That makes sense. Yeah, I hit fish people. Anyone else? 
on the side here. Spawn kill, spawn kill. Biggest question of all, how did all of this get inside that guy's mouth? This is what happens if you keep sea monkeys for too long. They end up eating all the rest of them in the pool and the one that survives ends up like this. An absolute fishman guard. Thank God, damn it. Think. Uh, uh, right, let's try and find our way out of here at least. To the radio. On fire coming right up. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, we'll just burn him, that sounds good. I suppose he's not exactly alive anymore, so we may as well. Ah, oh, incoming. Get over there. Take your bets. Oh god, the double sidestep. I think it like pushes them back so it gets in. Yeah, okay. Ooh. That was awfully close. Wait, do they look different? These guys look a bit more finny. I think that's just my imagination. We really have seen it all, though. I have never seen a game with just so many supernatural creatures all in one go. All right, sir. It's uh, it's time for you to burn. I'm afraid. Here you go. Drink up. It's your final drink. We're preparing you. This pond how many Tartars? How many Petri? Something smart about fire. Die. Oh God! <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> You got a Satan star on you, you probably like it. <laughs> That's an overreaction if ever I've seen one. Oh god, he did summon his dying bro oh. Just when you thought you were rid of it. Oh god, he missed. Oh, that was a big throw. Is that enough? Oh, we got him. Oh, jeez, I suppose. Good job you go so slow, right? Like you expected me to miss. Alright, long throw on this one. That was a good one. Oh, that one's kind of slow looking. Oh no, 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 no! Ah! It makes me want to put Thriller onto the top of this. Like a copyright strike so bad, it's unfortunate. I'll just sing it instead. Ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Close to midnight. There's something evil to look in the dark. That one's quite slow over there as well, so we have to prioritize. That one's really slow. Alright, we got him. That's the last of it. You scaly bastards. Exactly, Wilson. You add the angry man touch to that. He's still going? Oh! Jesus! You gotta be shitting me. Whoa! <laughs> This guy's dead! Oh, look! God, I went flying! My heart can't do anything. Uh, I want to run. You're a bad catch, asshole. You are a bad catch. Oh, I can. Okay, let's just try and lightning him up. Maybe he's going to spit something. I have a feeling, maybe, we either throw it in his mouth, or we try to counteract the punch with our own fist! Ah -ha! You don't like that, huh? No, he doesn't. That makes sense. We're like Thor. With all my team. Push! Side swing! <laughs> Your arm sting! Does it tickle? Oh, he's mad! He's mad! I think you can try an overhead slam on us. Oh, yeah, that's it. Nice and close, my friend. Ooh, what's that? Here you go. Don't explode, don't explode. Ooh, that's a good thing, though. I'm up for that. Way to sucker. Oh, God. He's summoning minions, isn't he? No? Yes. Knew it! Wait, leeches? Ah, leeches! 
got him. The next set of creepy ass leeches. And one over there. Final pond. That's it, find me like a real ape fish. Put him up. Paw! <laughs> I like the way he just has no idea what he's doing wrong. He thinks this is all a game. Clearly, you're gonna have to try a different tactic, my friend, because we are a black belt and beating up people we don't like. One for you. Woohoo! I need a breather, I just realized my heart's been out for so long. What are you gonna try? Ooh, that's a close pool of leeches. Which ones are coming out quicker? These ones. I know your game, I know what you're trying. Oh, I don't know if I screwed up. We should be okay. Yeah, we're good. Ooh. Trying to make me do that one so that I screw up and then your little kitties come and get me. Oh dear, oh dear, I need to charge this up. One minute, one minute! Alright, I'm ready. Fight me. What? This is the coolest thing ever. I'm punching a giant fish with my own heart charged with electricity. Oh, hoo -hoo. And one for good luck. <laughs> Please don't explode. We've been through this. Ooh, not into there. That's not going to end well for you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, it's up to us. This might sting a bit. Ugh. Big fish here, and it ain't you, pal. Ooh, his fingers are already bone-like. That's not good. Push him in. Oh, oh no! Oh, Lord, I'm sorry about that. I was never that fond of the ocean. Yeah, your reaction's cooler. Yeah. Mmm. Yes. Something about fish. Mmm. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of here. And... Silence. <laughs> what an ordeal this episode has been through. God, we've battled ghosts, we've battled fish, we've battled Satan creatures, there was a giant guy in a jar with eyeballs and they're floating in a brain and there's bah, it's all crazy. But, that's gonna do it here for today's episode. So, Thank you all so much for watching. I, again, I hope you're having as much fun as I am with this game. It's genuinely, it's so good. Such a good game, so underrated as well. It's been out for years and I had a look. I'm pretty sure other than one of the Let's Play, there is nobody else on YouTube who has ever covered this game from start to finish. Insane. This game deserves so much more than what it has. It really does. But yes, thank you all so much for watching. So if you want to see the full playlist, if you just happen to stumble upon this episode, you can always go back. I have a link in the description where you can do that. Other than that, I guess I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, goodbye! <laughs>